my favorite part of Connecticut, right here. Right here? Right here. This is like this hill. This hill? And this beautiful scenery that you're about to see. Wow. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? Oh, 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 that hill. Yeah. Wow. Look at it. It's magical. Is that magical? Off to the right, you'll see where they filmed The Sound of Music. <laughs> Yes! I bet you a million bucks that's what they did. Right, yes. Uh, really? You want to take that bet? <laughs> Alexa, please <laughs> tell me where Sound of Music was filmed with Julie Andrews. It's in Putnam, Connecticut. <laughs> it's in Putnam, Connecticut. It was it's fantastic. They flew the whole crew in here, the whole everything. Yeah, all the kids, it is so everything. so beautiful. It was all right here. Oh my God. Welcome to Carpooling with Ben. Folks, as winter is winding down and springtime is coming in, you know, we're all battling the same kind of thing, whether it be uh, with allergies or allergens in the air, the pollen, or even just that dry skin. And I brought in an expert who can really help you just point you in the right direction, really. Ladies and gentlemen, from the ANL Marketplace, Ashley Tucker. Ashley, thanks for coming. Hello. Uh, how Thank are you? you? Thank you. It's a lovely, lovely drive through yeah. Putnam, Connecticut, <laughs> um, of which uh, you, you, you've been in Connecticut for quite for a while time now. now. Yeah, 11 yeah. years. Wow, okay, great. She moved here when she was five. Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, well, that was just really <laughs> creepy. Uh, so you, you've been in business, though, for uh, a couple years now. You, yeah, you got like the, eight, you, eight you, years. Yeah, you had this idea. Nine? Tell me how the whole mm. idea came together. Uh, well, <laughs> well, that's a long story, but um, well, pretty much uh, I went through a holistic surgery because there was really some major issues going on in my body and specifically my mouth. Um, no one really could tell me what was going on and all the doctors around here just had no idea. So I ended up finding this holistic nurse and through my church that I was attending and she really helped me figure out what needed to be done. So I ended up sending an x-ray of my whole mouth to this guy in California. Long story short, I ended up doing this whole mouth surgery, taking all my teeth out, doing it all holistically so wow. there was no medication, no painkillers, no nothing. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Some people have anxiety yeah, just hearing crazy. the word dentist. Yeah. So this is like dentist times like four million because wow. it was just like, it was extreme. I mean, when I woke up from surgery, you would think like, where's my Vicodin? send me home but this was more like here's your papaya juice and spit in a bucket for 48 hours straight wow. <laughs> so Thanks. it was a very different thing and and back in the day I, I had no like I did not care about holistic health I did not care about anything I always thought it was like hippie-ish sure. weird voodoo I don't know it was just wicked weird so after well, I did fear, that yeah, it was fear of the unknown fear really. of the unknown not really knowing my stuff and just kind of like I guess judging like okay. without knowing mm -hmm. um but the rapid I, I pretty much was down in california for two weeks and the rapid like um healing was almost like weird really <laughs> yeah i healed so fast i pretty much was on a plane my mouth was totally healed my swelling went down and i've never felt anything like that like or seen anything like that so fast so i really started looking into things like that and i had to invest um in a lot like I'll invest a lot of money into supplements and um, essential oils and things like that to continue the healing process at home. Sure. So started taking stuff like that, but as years, uh, maybe about, well not years, but maybe about six months went by, I kind of started to dwindle off that stuff anymore. I didn't need it as much and um, I kind of just stored it away in a closet. I mean this is like probably $7,000 worth of supplements and wow. essential oils. Kind of just sitting there, not being used. So um, I decided, I actually had a thought. I was like, maybe I'll just, I was spending a lot of money just on skincare itself just because I had to change my routine. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have any skincare or products with metal and stuff in it yep. um, or any fillers. So I ended up just taking um, a bunch of this stuff. That's why I think it's, it's gone so far. I think I, I'm where I am because of the quality that I put into the product. Sure. It's not just like, let's put some coconut oil and some sugar in a bowl and make a, a scrub. This is like, I'm taking everything that I healed internally and externally and putting it into the products. And I'm seeing the same type of healing of the skin that I did in my mouth. It was wow. incredible. So I use this, um, our special little ingredient is royal jelly, which is great. I mean, it's, it's probably about 100 and, 
45 bucks for a seven ounce little jar. It's teeny. You don't put that on toast then? No. <laughs> no. Right. It's not holy water either. <laughs> like, so no, you just, <laughs> exactly. This stuff wow. is like gold. This stuff is literally. like gold. And you literally have to just use it very carefully. But pretty much one of those, when I make all the skincare, I use a whole bottle of that. So all of that goes into our skincare, which you do see the main benefits of your healing on your skin through that. So <laughs> let's really, a lot of people get into holistic approach to various forms of whether oh, it's yeah. skin or healthcare. Right. They get in by just dipping their toes in the water yeah. and then gradual. You went the total opposite kind of. with, 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 <laughs> with what you experienced with, with the mouth surgery. And it's yeah. amazing the whole journey that brought you to this it point It was. Here. I think that's where we, that's why I have a store. I, I never, you know, I never grew up saying, I really want a store when I'm older. Like, that's just not, I don't think I that's anybody. Yeah, I was like, I don't think that's I want anyone's a trite, dream. <laughs> and I want a store <laughs> it's in hard. Connecticut. Yeah, exactly. The on Constitution Putnam State. <laughs> so it's so weird because that's not really a dream of mine. A store was never a dream of mine. It just, that was not in the cards for me. I just really didn't care. And it's a lot, it's a lot of work. Being, being a store owner, it's, this is not easy. It's like very difficult. Sure. Um, to always keep up with what's going on, so oh, you're my pre you're <laughs> preaching to so many people Holy in America. Morning, like, it's, wow, it's, very, it's, it's very hard. Oh, absolutely. Um, but I enjoy it, and I think I'm using this store as kind of like a soapbox of of help. Like, I, I just want it to be. I want it to be where a pl like a place where people can come. And again, where we set up our store is there's nothing around here. Okay. So we do have that prime realty where um, everything that we're doing there is is like not known around here. Sure. So I have that foot forward, but yeah, I kind of jumped all in and, and um, I didn't really have a choice. It became life or death for me. So I had to have the surgery. I wasn't prepared for it, but I just had to do it. And through that, I learned so much being down there and it was almost like a two week crash course on holistic health. Wow. So I pretty much took all that back with me and then I did my own research. So I probably researched a good I don't know, eight months before I even started this product line. And then I'm a huge container freak. I love yeah. freaking such cute containers. Sure. That I bought all the containers for the skincare line without knowing what I was going to make yet. <laughs> so I was like, good, good well, plan. these are cute. That's, what that's, can I that, make? That's how I advise people you to know? build houses. Yes. You know, just build the biggest house you can, then Absolutely. figure out what you're going to put it on. Then you figure out where the walls are going to go inside. Right. Okay, so that's kind of <laughs> how I did this. I was like, I just want some cute containers and we'll just build it off of that. And I think. I started with like maybe four or five very simple products and um, I started just putting myself out there and that's probably the hardest thing is, is building a brand when they don't know you. Right. And what really helped build a brand is that I could live through it. Like, sure. I'm like, this is my story. I am not bull crapping. <laughs> this, is, this is me. Oh, it, yeah. I healed and everything that I healed with, I put in these products so I have no doubt. I was giving people my cell phone number. I was like, if you have issues, <laughs> call me up but I was like I swear you won't have any issues and after about eight years I haven't had one maybe a few just didn't like the way it was like for them that it worked but very very rare do I ever get like people breaking out with different problems sure sure because you're putting up putting what it's on the earth onto your face it's, it's, it's natural it's dirt it's yes well you yeah. know <laughs> Yeah. Well, in, in some in some cases, you know, when you look at some of the the products that are out there, and I'm not trying to bash the the major no, corporations no, not that are at out all. there, but uh, I, when you look at some of the stuff, I mean, some of the stuff is really, if you isolate it, it's it's yeah, toxic. It's you're, very toxic. You're going for more of the the health brush. So, talk yeah. to me about your shop here in in Putnam, Connecticut. As far as you know, when a person comes to comes to the shop for the first time, they're they're greeted with a whole wide range of various products and, yeah. and you know we, we were just in there we we're talking about some of the soaps you now have teas you have the chocolates yep. you've got and of course obviously the oils and, and mm -hmm. the various products for skincare so su sum up the shop in a nutshell all right uh <laughs> good luck so, <laughs> and, and go. run with the ball <laughs> so real quick i i've once I was selling so much skincare, we built the online store of just skincare. Mm -hmm. So after it got to the point where it was selling, we now sell to every single state, mm -hmm. which is pretty incredible, yeah, starting right. in my kitchen. Sure. Um, we do have clients in every state now. And I think 
building I, my idea came let's let's have a store I, I think we need to reach local people instead of me packing up my stuff and bringing it um, so that's kind of where our first thing and I said I wanted to build a store on expendables nobody on planet earth has a skincare store and does well because people don't just come in off the street and say you know what I really want to change my skincare yeah. <laughs> that just, normally people are, are creatures of habit it's and a huge lifestyle change. it's a huge lifestyle change and usually when you grew up with a product you're gonna die with that product yeah. like People do not tend to change their skincare line ever. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with makeup; they just don't change. They're happy with their products; it's working for them. Okay. Um, and and the and the tough part is is when you do change, sometimes your skin has a negative effect to it because it has to get used to it. Right. So Absolutely. that's a really right. very 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 scary business to go in like just that. So I wanted that to be the base of it, but if we surround it with really cute things. And people will be drawn in with the cute stuff. There you go. Fine. And then that's I can, a, that's kind of where I come in and, and explain the skincare line. I, I think the way it looks and how we have it displayed is important because it um, has people asking questions like, what is this? What's going on here? Sure. Adding in the essential oil bar, we are actually the only store in New England with an essential oil bar. Wow. Where you can actually sit okay. and create and mix your own oils into sprays and, and uh, lotions and whatever you want basically to take home. Now, do people have to be on site to do that or can they work with you through your Facebook or your website to, um, to well, get that's, to that? Well, that's kind of 2018. We're actually putting the whole store online. Wow. So you'll be, yeah, that's like my next step. Big announcements here on Big announcements. <laughs> that's that's just look at that. our wow, role. Absolutely. <laughs> now that we've crossed into Wyoming, yes. <laughs> um, you know, the, the, this, this, we took a long time to get there. This the is a very person, line, but, I'm scared because I've never been here. Well, this, this, it's a beautiful area. <laughs> I mean, just really lovely pretty. woods. I mean, I, I, I think I've pretty. seen a few, uh, a few like hard film start over here it's just <laughs> yeah. connecticut's got a lot of free space if you're Very looking to build scary. a house come to connecticut come they just got woods and so beautiful yeah. and connecticut is so known so beautiful for with the dead trees <laughs> there's nothing around Look at this for magical miles. here for a second. Let, let's let's talk about the relationship that you've built uh with your customers your clientele over the past you know eight years on this journey mm -hmm. um you're seeing a lot of the repeat business you're seeing oh, yeah. a lot of people come in and the reason being is it's making a huge difference. It is. I What does that I do for you? It. What does that do for you? I mean, you went through your story, now you're seeing other people go through it and it may not be as 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 hard a road that you went through, but still Well, I think everyone's road is hard. I, I don't know. I, I I know I went through a hard time, but then as we open the store up, you can see the amount of people coming in and telling me about their stories and it's I, I feel like it's it's a lot <laughs> it's like yeah, sure. people go through some serious stuff and some people just don't talk about it mm -hmm. now I'm just very much like I'm all out there I'm like here it all is really this I is thought me. you were so shy I mean I'm everything. so shy <laughs> I mean you know I mean seriously just so like I, your husband I, Sean <laughs> just this quiet little peaceful guy not little he's tall um, but to me I'm just great like guitar player, by the way. he is great a great guitar, guitar player amazing guitar player and singer mm, he can true. really sing that's it um, but yeah, so I, I, getting to know these customers, I've had multiple times where I got to talk to them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And once we get to open up to each other, it's kind of nice. We kind of build this relationship where it's not just a store anymore. It's really an experience. So people come in just to get refreshed yeah. sometimes. I sure. just spit on you. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> Like, it's, organ it's organic. It's you, organic. You, it's you use, by, you it's use really the holistic <laughs> stuff. It's a holistic spit. You know, it's it's kind of like it's as pure as it can get. It's, it's right. <laughs> so to me, I just feel like building that relationship Hands is so important. Hands on the wheel, mind on the moment, you're like, <laughs> It's so important because um, you're just you're you are you're building up your clientele, but really you're building up all these friends, and it's just people know about you, and you know about them, and. It just it, it really builds a great connection and the experience of coming to a &L because we just have it all I guess it's, it's totally a shop where you can if you if you're already on a holistic, uh, holistic kick. take two <laughs> if you're if you're already on a holistic path yes you it's can easy. totally incorporate the store into mm -hmm. what you're doing yes but if you are just curious and you want to take that okay I'm gonna dip my toes in the water yeah, route or I very basic stuff for that yeah and 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 the whole learning process goes through and and uh, you do some uh, some fun Facebook live videos you do yeah. some various uh, tutorials on your Facebook page mm -hmm. so people should certainly go and follow the Facebook page we do flash sales there you go so fun that's the what's better than that What's better than a flash sale <laughs> even more reason to click follow yes, like subscribe and, and, and check out everything they're doing there 
Um, last question I'll ask you is this. Um, going in from the winter to the spring season, yeah. what, is, what is the number one thing you suggest to people if, the, you know, if they're just getting started and you know, coming in at this season or, or coming in where you know, people are going to be spending a lot more time outside, obviously the trees and everything will start to bloom and the pollens will be out there, so people tend to gravitate towards uh, their stuff they need. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, so what's the what's the route you suggest to mm. start with uh, coming into the springtime? Ooh, well, that's our best season. We could play like we could so play like that. So excited! <laughs> like the little birds chirping music. Yeah. Um, honestly, essential oils have done so much for me personally, and I think um, it's not just a placebo effect. There really is a science behind it. There, there truly is scientific. Sure. And that's actually something that I always thought was um, a lie. <laughs> I was like, this has to be placebo. This is all mind games. But really, seeing the healing that I've had personally and what I even, I mean, I use essential oils every single day. And they help with tremendous amount of things, uh, right down to migraines. Even if you have, like, seasonal migraines, this stuff works. Um, there's different um, little concoctions you can make. Start making your own roll-ons. And that's what makes it fun. You come in. And we're really laid back. You just sit down at the bar and we're going <laughs> to sit at the bar. We'll just Pull mix you a cocktail a of sec. essential oils. Do you think we could get an essential <laughs> oil to fix potholes? That would be great. Like, oh, it's terrible back oh. here. Terrible. But um, I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's such a laid back store that even if you come in completely clueless of what to do, we will walk you through and make it so simple and so easy. The ultimate goal with working with with you and you know, obviously A and L Marketplace is, you know, achieving a a different, healthier approach and, mm -hmm. and, a, and a more natural approach. Right. Am I, am I right in sizing that up? Or? No, that's pretty much what we are. I just, I mean, I love it. Not that medications are bad or anything on that side's bad. It's just, it's a different approach where people are really getting to learn more about it on their own time. Like it's, it's really, it's really coming. It, yeah. It's of coming. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's really cool because I feel like we started the store at such a great time in life. Um, where people are just starting to learn um, about essential oils. I still, every day, like, we've been there for, I mean, really, we've had uh, two stores, so we've been there for two years. And still to this day, people come in and have never heard of essential oils. Wow. To this day. I mean, Well, so, after they watch this episode I of Cock with Ben, you know, everybody, everybody absolutely, you, you come... <laughs> <laughs> come say hello. So, uh, come and say hello. Ashley, thanks so much for taking Thank the time you. to uh, to go for a ride and explain it. Because aside from knowing you for, for a number of years mm -hmm. and, and understanding the story and how, how you went through it, you, you're right. This whole mindset of the holistic approach is is really making a resurgence. And, and you know, thanks to social media, people are, oh, are learning more media. learning more about it because right. it's 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 making a better life it for is. them. So, uh, so thanks for taking the time. Thank I will. You. I promise to get you back. I don't want your husband coming after looking for me. He has an army, people. So you know, just you know, just, just realize it's. Uh... <laughs>